Hello, and welcome to the first of a two-part series on how to convert a DVD into an XFIT. For the first portion, we're going to be installing DVD Shrink, which you can acquire from any one of the links to the side of this video. Once you have the file, you simply double-click on the executable that you have downloaded, and it's going to start, start the installation procedure. Click Next on the first screen, accept the license agreement, click Next. This is going to where, be where you want to install the files, simply click Next. This is going to be any type of program shortcuts you want it to create. The defaults are very acceptable. And if you want to create any desktop icons or quick launch icons. And then finish by clicking Next. And here is our summary page of the installation. Now the installation is complete. We simply click Finish and DVD Shrink will launch. Before we do anything with the physical DVD, we actually want to set our preferences. So go to Edit, Preferences. You can see here that we have our first uh, tab of our preference screen. We have a bunch of options here. The main ones that we're worried about, though, is the size of the DVD that we're going to end up with. Because we are trying to actually convert from DVD to XFID, we want to have as unmolested of a VOB or VOB file as possible. For this, we need to go ahead and change our selection to DVD-9. Additionally, we want to go to our stream selection so that we can select what type of audio we want to actually use. For myself, that would be English. And for our subtitle, it would be English as well. Click OK. And we're now ready to start extracting files. To do this, we simply click Open the Disk. It's going to ask us what disk drive we want to use. This is the disk that I want to particularly um, extract at the moment. This is going to be the Alien Special Disk US di uh, Edition Disk 1. So we click OK. It will perform a little bit of work and be extracting the files from the DVD. Your version will take a little while the first time you do it. Uh, so expect to take usually about a minute to up to five minutes to actually extract the files. Now as you can see at the top we have two different selections. We have Full Disk and we have Reauthor. Full disk will give you all of the contents off of the disk, and this is not what we want to do. We want to actually only burn or only uh, convert the primary video. So for that, we're going to click on Reauthor. Now on the bottom right hand side, we can now see some of our DVD options that we have down here. We've got Title One, Title Two, all the way up through Title Twenty One. Usually DVD Shrink does a very good job of actually splitting up the movie to where you can actually have just a single Title I, and that is usually your main movie. Now, this particular case, we have a very special DVD. This DVD has two versions of Alien on it. It has the original theatrical version, and it has the director's edition by Ridley Scott. I want to actually encode the director's edition. So I simply double-click on Title II, it adds it to the DVD structure on the left hand side. Last and final thing we want to do is we want to look at the compression settings. Now we see that we have multiple audio streams and we also see that we have multiple uh, subtitle streams. Once again I do want to leave my English subtitles on because I prefer to have them. If you don't like to have subtitles by all means feel free to turn it off. For audio I usually like to use the 5.1 AC3 file. Um, you can also use uh, the two-channel DMUX version if you want to, but it's not necessary. 5.1 will definitely do a sufficient job of converting into a nice variable bitrate MP3 that I will show you in video too. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the additional subchannels. At this point, we click backup and it's going to ask us where we want to save it. You can save it as an ISO file or a hard disk folder. I recommend keeping it as a hard disk folder because if you create an ISO image you're either going to have to mount that image or you're going to have to extract it. So let's keep it as a hard disk folder. Give it a name that you can easily find. In this case I'm going to leave it on the C drive and I'm going to call it Alien. I'm going to turn off Create Video TS and Audio TS folders just to make it a little bit easier and click OK. Now the encode process is taking place and it's actually going to spin up the DVD and start working through the DVD and extract the files to the local hard drive. 
Once you have these files extracted, you will be able to compress them using stack rips, which is shown in video 2.